All right. Good morning, everyone. Uh, got my camera issues squared away and am now able to uh, do uh, go live. So I uh, wanted to look at the new version 24 ID and specifically what I'm looking at today is the fact that with version 24, you can do web dev work within the WinDev IDE. Uh, we saw last year uh, with version 23, they integrated mobile into the IDE, and now they have also integrated web. And that's a pretty exciting feature for me. Uh, most of our projects are what I call hybrid projects with both web dev and wind dev. And for the last several years, we've been doing those in one project. You can actually have the same project file and open it in the web dev IDE or the wind dev IDE. The downside to that was you had to close one to open the other. You couldn't have the project open in both. So if you needed to look at a web page, to look at some code from there, to do something similar on your wind dev page, you had to close and reopen. So there was some inefficiencies there. Those have now been eliminated because now I can do everything straight from within the wind dev IDE. <clears throat> now, before you get too excited, you still have to have licenses for web dev, just like you have to have a license for wind dev mobile if you want to do the mobile work but at least you can do it all from within one IDE. So along with that, uh, and there's always been the ability to do rudimentary conversion of, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Windows to web. But with this improvement in version 24, they have uh, done a lot of work on that conversion. Uh, there's now a migration wizard that will convert an entire WinDev app to WebDev, and that's what we're actually going to look at this morning. And along with that, there's a one-click conversion of a window to a page. Uh, there's a feature that will convert Windows templates to page templates. And the one that's of most interest to me, because I, I, I'm not a believer in this wholesale, just taking a Windows interface and converting it to web. Uh, but you can also copy and paste controls. So you can take a button on your WinDev window, copy it, paste it into your WebDev page, and it will convert it to a WebDev control, keeping all the properties and making the changes that it needs to make so that that button is the appropriate button in web dev, including all the style settings and so forth that come along with being a web versus windows. So there's some exciting features there for, you know, what a lot of us do, those hybrid projects where we have some windows work, some web work. So, so that that's what we're uh, uh, looking at, and like I said, specifically, I, I want to show you the migration tool uh, for the entire website. Uh, this isn't something, again, that I would use for production work, but, you know, for internal projects, you know, those little down and dirty internal projects that you just need something to work, or as a starting point, or uh, as a learning tool to just get some web stuff to, to start playing and beating with. Uh, it, it definitely has its uses. So to play with it, uh, what I did was I created a simple little app uh, with two tables in it. And I'll open up the analysis here so you can see that. We've got a product table and then a product type table with a relationship between them. Uh, not, nothing major, just a nice, simple little demonstration. And what I did was I used the RAD to generate the application. Uh, again, I'm just looking for something to, to start playing with. Uh, uh, the, the RAD isn't going to make, you know, the, the next bestseller app by any means, but it does make a functional Windows app. 
Uh, and if you're more interested in RAD, definitely check out Glenn's stuff because Glenn has done a lot of work with the RAD. Uh, so anyway, once I generated the RAD app, we'll take a quick look at how it looks. You know, it's it's pretty simple. It's got a menu. We can go into products. We can browse products. We can modify. We have a form, including a combo box to choose the product type. So it knew how to set up that relationship uh, so that we can look up the product type instead of, you know, manually keying it, you know, the, the relationships in place. And similarly, product type, we got a browse for it and a form for it. So by no means, a, you know, the next Stellar app, but uh, that's enough that if you've never done web work, might be daunting for you. Uh, so, so now let's turn this into a web dev app. You know, let's let's create a web version of this app. How are we going to do that? Well, with version 24, it's really easy. Again, I'm in the WinDev interface here. Uh, and if you haven't looked at configurations, again, we've been using configurations for the last several years and, and doing this same sort of thing. We just had to move between IDE and IDE. Now we can do it all from within the WinDev IDE. So we come up to configurations. We create a new configuration. And because this project's in the SCM, it needs to check it out. And this is the exciting new feature is before the only options we would have had here were Windows options. And then with version 23, we got the mobile options. Well, now we also have site. So now we can do web site from within Windows. So we choose site. And they've renamed uh, what used to be Web Dev Dynamic uh, is now called Session Mode Classic. Uh, so the, the two modes now are session mode and AWP mode. Uh, and we're going to use session mode. Next, it, and, th and this is where we start getting into the exciting part. We can get a list of all the windows that we want to convert. Uh, now you'll notice it, it's got, uh, some information up here about, you know, you shouldn't do but a few at a time. Uh, and there's some help to some tips on how to webify your project. Uh, but since this is a simple project, we're just going to select them all. And then it wants to know what other elements we want to include. And we'll go ahead and let it include all the reports. And it's off to the races. It's adding some things to our IDE, or our SEM rather. And now it's done and it runs an audit telling you things that it has concerns about with the conversion. And the first one is all of the open statements on the buttons, the edit buttons, and those sort of things, the code in that button was referencing the window. And of course, now we've created a page, so those all need to be changed to the page name instead of the window name. And I should note, one of the improvements they've made with version 24 was enabling the open statement in web dev. Uh, before we always had to do page display, page display dialog. Now open, open sister are available in web dev. And I haven't played with it a lot yet, but it appears to be the equivalent of page display is, is what it's a, the equivalent of. Um, but anyway, all we have to do is click replace all. And it takes care of all that renaming in the code for us. Next, these, I think, and, and again, remember, we are working with a very early alpha build of version 24 English here. So, uh, you know, 
expect a few warts, and I believe this may be a wart. It's talking about some code for the edit and place the the rad application created edit and place on those tables and had some code in there but if you notice it's actually talking about code in the window not the page so i'm not sure if we should be looking at that or not you know if it's telling us that you know, this code was on the window it didn't make it to the page we need to look at the difference i'm not sure exactly what it's trying to tell us there but for now, we'll just ignore that and move on. And the next one is another one that was a wart of, you know, being a very early alpha release. You notice it's creating this command as the French command, not the English command. And because I'm in the English IDE, it's confusing it. But if I click on these, I can change that to the proper close and resolve those. Now if I do a refresh, I must not have saved it. Now the only error that's left is that one that we're ignoring for now. So <clears throat> now that we've gone through the audit, we now have two configurations. And if you haven't worked with configurations, you just switch back and forth with which configuration you're working on at the moment. <clears throat> and as you see, we're, we're working on the site now. And you'll also notice a, a new little feature this WB up in the right corner of the ID let me know that I'm working on a web dev configuration versus a wind dev configuration. And then we have windows and forms in our page. So at this point, we actually have a functional website. So let's run it and see what we get. Uh, one of the other Great new features of version 24 is for your development machine for testing of web dev. You no longer need to have IIS enabled or Apache installed. It actually has a built-in web server that it uses for testing of your web dev site. So one less thing to think about when you're installing and and testing and, and as we all know on our development machines, the, the less things that we have to install, the, the less chance we have of, of stuff getting uh, messed up. And I know uh, there used to be a lot of issues with Skype and IIS because they both want port 80 and those kind of things. So hopefully some of those things have gone away. Uh, similarly, it's mentioned in the help uh, documents for the new version that uh, a lot of people were having trouble with UAC when testing with uh, web dev and IIS and because it's now an internal app, that has gone away. So that's just yet another new feature of version 22, uh, 24 rather. All right, so we see we have our menu. <clears throat> Obviously, I think the, the style needs a little work, uh, but if you did a little work with the styles and so forth, you could make make this app definitely look a little better. And you know, you also need to remember we didn't start out with the most stellar looking app in the first place. We're we're just really looking at functionality today. So from our products menu, we can choose list products, and it pops up our table, same as it did on uh, Windows. Now you'll notice that the uh, it, it's not as wide but that that other column is still over there we would just need to do some adjustments to the zoning and styles and so forth so again this this would be a good way for you to maybe get started with web dev and 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 take a little app like this and and start tweaking it into something that's a little more presentable uh, so anyway, we can select a row and click modify and we get our form. 
along with our combo box just like we did in Windows. So everything's here. We got a fully functional web site. Uh, you know, again, not not the prettiest thing in the world, but definitely something worth looking at. Uh, and the the fact that it did that so quickly and easily and right from within the WinDev IDE, you know, shows a lot of promise to how easily we're going to be able to to make that transition between Windows and Web moving forward. So that's a uh, that's a first look. Uh, the the next uh, thing I will be doing uh, sometime within the next week or so is looking at uh, a few of the new native controls that have been introduced with version 23. Uh, ironically enough, a lot of those controls are things that I have worked very hard with jQuery uh, libraries to duplicate in my current web dev sites. And now I, I'm going to be able to get rid of all that custom jQuery code and use a straight web dev native control. So, so those are some very exciting things that I'm looking forward to, to playing with. So, all right, so there we go. Uh, that's your first look at, uh, I said web dev, but really we were in the wind dev IDE the entire time, which was kind of the, the point and what we're so excited about. So uh, if you haven't got your upgrades yet, uh, remember there's some specials going on right now where you can go ahead and get your upgrade, get, get in line to be one of the first to get 24 once it is released. And if you haven't gotten 23 yet right now, if you upgrade your 22 or older version, you'll get 23 now and 24 once it's it's made available. So if you got any questions on that or anything else, just send us something over at uh, sales at W Experts or use the contact page on the uh, WinDev US page or Facebook message or carrier pigeon, whatever way you need to communicate with us. All right, so that's it for today. Hope you all enjoyed a, a first look here, and we'll uh, we'll be posting more shortly. Thanks a lot.